Okay, to make a vehicle select a screen, first we're gonna need a new uh, scene and we're gonna call it awake scene. Since in this scene we're gonna do basically everything. So let's open up and we have default uh, settings. So we're gonna delete the light completely and we're gonna go into the rendering lightning settings and we're gonna do none. I'm gonna create a simple uh, cylinder with uh, no height. I'm gonna put a, uh, a vehicle prefab, prefab on it. Next I'm gonna put a kind of a uh, lamp on top. Okay so it looks something like this. Okay so once you position your vehicles the way you want or the scene the way you want go into your main camera and uh, change the background to completely black. I also put a uh, material to this plane, this one, and I bumped the metallic to all the way up to max so we can see the, the horizon. Next, let's do some UI. I also downloaded this uh, asset from the asset store. Once you've positioned the, the left and the right button, next we need a some kind of a, a scene manager. So let's create a new script. I'm calling it Awake Manager. Create a new empty game object and just place the the script. First things first, what I want to do is I want this cylinder to rotate. So immediately when we press play we get a error in here that says manager game uh, missing. To fix that we're gonna need uh, something called scene management. Into the fixed update all, all we're asking is if the scene, the current scene now is the awake scene just return out of this loop. Let's see if it works. Now we don't have a uh, error that shows up in here. Next thing, we want this uh, this uh, stand that where the the car stays to rotate. Okay, I'm simply just using a transform rotate vector three dot right, and I'm using a float variable to vary the speed that this is going to to rotate. Uh, slight issue, it's going into the wrong direction. Okay, so once you've made your table uh, rotate you will see that the vehicle won't uh, follow the rotations. So the way we're gonna uh, solve that problem is with these two lines. So what this does is simply get any object with the tag player and then simply follow the rotation, the same rotation that the, the table did. So save that and hit play. Now this automatically uh, gets the player and now the player rotates with the the table. So the way we're gonna cycle through the, the vehicle list is by simply making a uh, empty object and call it vehicle list. Make a new script for it, vehicle uh, list that simply carries the list and simply make a array of uh, game objects. Okay here it is. Let's say we have five prefabs of uh, players which I've made the uh, here earlier. These are simply copies. Actually there are four. Okay, so now we have uh, four, four vehicles. The way we're gonna cycle through these is by using uh, player prefs to store the, the pointer that the current car we've chosen is. Okay, let's build a function. So after a lot of uh, tries, I got this to work and now we can cycle through objects and it deletes the last object to replace it with a new one. And now this doesn't go outside the bounds. Okay, so here is a how I did that. I declared these var variables and then in the awake, I simply get the pointer. This set should go away. So I get the pointer and then we immediately instantiate that vehicle that is stored into the pointer. And then in order to rotate the, the car, I spawn the, the car inside this uh, game object. So it actually turns with the table itself with this turntable which we got as a uh, object as a complete object then in the fixed update we simply rotate it into this if statement we ask if the pointer is outside the bounds of the array length then when we press the right button it first destroys any player that's present into the scene updates the the pointer sets the pointer into the uh, player press and then instantiates a uh, vehicle inside this uh, folder. So now let's build this exact method but for the for the right button. So we're just gonna copy that or duplicate it and we're gonna call it left 
button and we're simply gonna decrease the pointer and instead of asking if the vehicle pointer is smaller than this which is never gonna be the case so in here now we're gonna ask as long as it's above zero if it's zero this is this is not gonna execute let's connect the left button let's try that and now the vehicle pointer is going to be at minus one which is going to give us an error so we need that line in here that i had earlier simply updates the pointer to zero now we can't go outside the bounds okay now let's delete this line since it works and let's build a function that loads in a another scene scene management okay sim uh, it's a simple public void that simply just loads a scene let's make a, a button for it connect the button okay we have a error simply drag your scenes in here and hit x and then retry again this should load the game Okay, now let's go into the main scene. Let's import that vehicle list. Let's delete this Chiron completely. And into the game manager, we're gonna do a awake method and we're gonna import everything. First, we're gonna instantiate a model from the vehicle list, which we obviously have to import. Simply instantiate a vehicle that uh, has a pointer, which we get from the player press into vector three, uh, into, into the position of zero. Before we go into the game first we need to import the controller rr is equal to game object dot find with tag player dot get component controller once you've dragged your vehicle list into this slot we're gonna hit play give us that error that if we change from awake to start it seems to work fine so right now if we hit play it obviously spawns the vehicle but not where really it should so the way we fix that is by simply getting a game object and uh, positioning where you want it and then inside the game manager just declare a new game object and where we instantiate instead of vector 3 we're gonna say start position dot transform dot position and for the rotation simply do transform so, uh, start position dot transform dot rotation hit save drag and drop it to the start position and hit play it starts it where you want it to start let's try picking a uh, cart okay yeah it works 